did. I'm starting out in Photoshop today. Uh, made a duplicate of my background layer, named it Denoise AI, because I'm going to zoom in and show you. There is a lot of noise in this image, and I think I can get a little bit sharper, and I think I can do that all with Topaz Denoise AI. I could use Sharpen AI to do it, but I think there's really too much noise in here, so that's why I'm choosing Denoise AI. So let's go ahead and launch Topaz Denoise AI. And here we are inside of Topaz Denoise AI. Now, I'm using the Denoise AI model. I have the set to auto here. And I think the Denoise AI model is going to be fine. Uh, looks really good. I can see still a little bit of noise here. So I'm going to give it a little bit more noise removal and let that update and see if that goes. Yeah, that goes away. I might give it a little bit more sharpening here. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click apply. But Denoise AI does wonders. It removes all that really tough noise. And here we are back in Photoshop with my denoised image. Now, all I need to do is come up here to filter and find Topaz Labs Mask AI and we'll launch it. I don't even have to do a duplicate layer here because uh, I've already set my Mask AI up to do that for me. And it'll also send it back in with a layer mask, which is really cool. And I'll show you that once it comes back into Photoshop. And now we're in Mask AI. Now, I chose this particular image for two different reasons. One, I wanted to make it into a, just a basic little Christmas card, seasonal card. And also because it's going to be a little challenging because it's got a lot of uh, tricky masking areas on it. So the first thing I want to do is, uh, as you know, if you watched any of my past videos, Mask AI works with the TriMap system. There's three colors, basically. Uh, blue for a compute green for a keep and red for a cut so that's what they mean by tri map anything in green it will keep anything in blue it will compute uh those will be your little tough edges and things like that and anything in red it will remove okay so the first thing i want to do is take this blue brush and just real quickly go right around this pine uh, branch here it's a fun little image here so just go right around here, and now I'm just going to draw a line down through here, right around the hand, here around the edge of the hand, and right around here. Very quick and easy. Then I'm going to get a bucket tool. I'm going to get a red bucket tool. The areas I want to get rid of are outside of the pine right here, this area right in here. This area I want to compute, so I need to get a blue bucket here and fill this area in. And simply... Uh, Click Compute Mask. Now, I have three choices here. Uh, AI, Artificial Intelligence. This is the one I generally use for pretty much all, all the time. All-purpose masking, translucent, think like wedding veils and things like that. And in contrast for just basic uh, type masks. But this is a tricky mask, so I definitely want to use AI. So I'm going to go ahead and click Compute Mask. And there we are. There's our cutout. The image on the left is the original, and the image on the right is the uh, cutout image. Right now, it's still in the tri-map view, so I'm going to shut the tri-map off so we can see the original. So I want to get a little extra blur back here. I think it's going to make a really nice card if I do that. So what I'm going to do is click on background and click the uh, blur tool. Now, we have options in here. No, no, uh, no background, blur color background or an image background. Now, none would be if you just want to make a general mask and send it back to Photoshop and then do your, uh, add your background in Photoshop. But I want to do the blur right here inside of Mask AI. So I'm going to click on blur. And when I do, you can see the background is already blurred and it, it has a default setting of 33 here. And that looks pretty good, you know, compare it to the image on the left. And I, and I do like that. I might go with a little extra blur here. Maybe, yeah, maybe something like that. I think that's going to look nice because I think I'm going to put Merry Christmas across the top just to give you an idea for some type of a Christmas card or a holiday poster or something like that. And of course, we can adjust the uh, background. We can adjust the exposure like I can pull the exposure back if we wanted to. But I think I'm just going to leave it where it is. And we can adjust contrast and all these different adjustments. We can make the temperature warmer or cooler just by adjusting the temperature here so we can make it warmer or cooler whatever you want but i don't think i'm going to do anything like that now and we can also uh see where it says adjust you can click this and you can adjust the foreground as well so you have a lot of different adjustments you can do in mask ai it's a super 
Super great program, in my humble opinion. I really think it's nice. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can see if there's any masking issues here. So let's take a look around. And my tip for you today is don't be too crazy here and go ahead and get every little spot here. Mainly what I'm looking for is my background being blurred, okay? So I want to make sure the blurred areas are blurred, and it looks pretty good. I may miss a spot because I'm making the tutorial, and usually you want to take your time and get it right, but looks pretty good. I think I got all the areas uh, blurred that I want to be blurred. Let's go down and look at the hand here. Now I missed an area on the hand right here. I'm not even going to fix it here. I'm going to fix this in Photoshop and show you how easy it is to fix. There's a little area it missed right here, but don't waste your time in here and get every little thing. I want the background blurred, so I'm making sure all those areas in the background are blurred. And you'll see how easy it is to fix little issues in Photoshop. So don't sit in here. You know, you can come here and get a brush tool, for instance, and get your green brush tool and say, well, I missed this area. Make my brush tool a little bit smaller. And, you know, you can come here and say, I want this area in and click across here like so. Give it a second or two and it fills that in, you know, and I could go and get each and every little area, but that takes time and why aggravate yourself? So fix it in Photoshop. It's a lot easier. And I recommend using Mask AI in Photoshop. I think it's the best workflow for using Mask AI, in my humble opinion. All right. But I think everything is looking pretty good and I'm really done here. So now all I need to do is click apply. Now, when I click apply, uh, we have two choices. We can send it as a transparent. That would be just sending it back with a layer mask or composite, and that would send it back with a blurred background. I want the blurred background, so I'm going to click composite. And now we're back here in Photoshop, and you'll notice here's my mask AI uh, layer, the blurred out layer, and I'll show you. Here's the before, and here's the after. So I really like what that blur has done in mask AI. And uh, you also notice I have a layer mask here. And when I sent this into uh, Mask AI, I didn't duplicate my background layer because I have my Mask AI set up in Mask AI preferences to duplicate the background layer for me and to add a layer mask when it comes back in. And I have videos showing you how to do that. You can find those on my YouTube channel. And now for some pixel peeping, make sure your layer mask is selected. So just click on it and let's really zoom into this image now. And let's start out by looking at the hand here because remember I told you it missed some of the hand. So right here you see how it missed this here i'm on the layer mask make sure you get a brush tool b is a shortcut for the brush tool make my brush tool a little bit larger make sure it's very soft you know it doesn't have a hard edge on it and uh make sure you're painting with black paint because the layer mask is white meaning everything is getting revealed so you want to hide things here so i want to bring this hand back so i'm going to paint black across here and you'll see the hand will come back in now my opacity is at 100 percent my flow's at 100%. So watch this. See that? Nice soft edge. Paints it right back in. Here's a little spot that it missed right there. Pretty cool, right? And look, right here, missed a little spot. But see how easy I can just fix that stuff up? Not a problem. It's a lot quicker to do it here in Photoshop. And then just look at uh, your um, pine branch and look for areas that it missed. Now, I see an area right here that it missed, so I'm just going to go ahead and paint that right in. Like right there, simple, right? No big deal. So why waste all that time? See, here's a little spot it missed right here. See how you can fix it right up? And I know it missed a little spot down here, but I can paint it in, right? No, no, no problem whatsoever. And just look it over real good. And if, you, if it missed something, fix it. Just paint it right back in. But why waste all that time in Mask AI? Because a lot of people say, you know what? I'm fiddling around in there. I'm using that red brush tool. I'm using that green brush tool. I give it a little click here and another little spot pops up. And it can be a little, you know, because it's using artificial intelligence. But I like just to fix it this way. And I hope that someday Mask AI just gives us a simple brush tool that I could do this right inside of Mask AI, right? I can just do just like I'm doing here, just fixing up little problem areas. And all we need is a brush that doesn't use artificial intelligence because sometimes the artificial intelligent brush, which is awesome, can give us little issues. But a basic brush like this would fix little problem areas very simply and very easy. A simple basic brush would, would take care of the problem, just like I'm doing right here. But just fix it like that. It's just that simple. Here's a little piece right here that it missed.
but you can come up here and fix it, you know, and why, why waste a lot of time? And I, this is a good tip and I hope, I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, let me know what you think of this tip in the comments below. I know you do have to work in Photoshop this way, but if, if Topaz would simply give us a basic brush that wasn't an artificial intelligence brush, but just a brush that you could fix little problem areas, I think that would be really good. What do you think? Topaz, I hope you're watching this video. You need to do that. Now, to complete this, I just want to add Merry Christmas to the top of this uh, image. Call it a card, call it a poster. You can turn it into a uh, something you hang on the wall at Christmas time, okay? And frame it. So let's go ahead and get a text tool. I'm just typing T for the text tool and I'm going to type in Merry Christmas. Of course, you can change your font and all that stuff. I'm going to click on this layer uh, where it says T. When I do, it'll say Merry Christmas. And then I'm going to get the transform tool and that's Commander Control T to get it. And now we can just resize Merry Christmas. We could change the font color if we wanted to, whatever, but I like red. I'm going to leave it right like that. And Merry Christmas. There it is. Happy holidays, everyone. Well, there it is. Another creative blur with uh, Topaz Mask AI. So think about that for your Christmas cards and uh, Christmas decorations and things like that. I think it could really be something you could really use. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you will be notified about it.